It's like I just got a full body massage from my, my big toe up to my hair follicles. What is up guys? So I want to do a little thing real quick on how uh, the battery last night, you guys watched my live video and it actually, uh, the battery and the screen and everything else on the Bafang was not working. So I wanted to show you what I did. We got it working this morning, it turned on, it dried out. It had to do with the rain, um, got to the battery. So what I did was I did this. I took blankets and I wrapped it up. Basically just dripped them over the top. Um, and what happens is you've got the heater right here and the heater's gonna blow the air right up inside that, and it's gonna create a, like a continuous, um, basically like a heat wave inside here. And then it was blowing directly on the battery. And then, let me go ahead and turn this off. And then I unplugged here and let that dry out. And that is your power source, your power cable from your battery uh, to the front and to your motor and everything else. So um, I took off the controller I put the controller here so that it was right over the air and I let that dry out as well uh, and unplug that so um, put that here so that was uh, all I did I taped up the holes on the bottom that I put um, that was another thing I put three holes on the bottom so that the air would get in there and the water would come out so if you guys have any issues with your batteries like that um, definitely try this if you're at a hotel room or you're at your house and you're trying to dry it out if you don't have a blow dryer or anything like that which i didn't have and um, let it dry overnight and eventually the wiring and everything else will dry up and you'll be able to uh, turn that on hopefully that's the idea but uh, that worked for me so if you guys want to try it please try that if you're having issues uh, don't unplug keep plugging back in i saw a couple of horror stories on there people were burning out their cords and their interfaces on their computer and everything else that one was a that sounded like a mess so try this if you're at a hotel put the blankets over and uh yeah go from there it makes it a lot easier all right so we're gonna grab a quick little breakfast here we got a, a cereal and we got uh orange juice coffee and uh chocolate chip muffin but we're gonna head to walmart after this so that we can get the uh, uh pieces we need some zip ties and tape and everything else so We're gonna ride into Walmart because we're not in the best area in the world, so I don't want to leave my bike outside. So I'm gonna ride right through the doors and see what they say as this lady's sweeping. We're getting really close. I'm just riding my bike down here now. Nobody's bothering me yet. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. We rode our bike all the way in the back of the store right now and we're gonna get out and we're gonna walk around. I get zip ties and I can't really get to anything while I'm on the bike. So, no. Alright, so, uh, yeah, so we're just gonna find what we need. We got everything we needed. We got the um, baby bag. We're gonna fit that over the battery. We got zip ties, bungee cords, silicone, and tape. So, now we're just gonna uh, go pay.
check out a lot of stuff. Basically, we're just hanging out in line right now. What's up? How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> What's up, man? All right. I'm good. We're heading out. Yes, ma'am. All right, so basically right now what I'm doing is I got a zip tie uh, back on what I unzip tied yesterday and uh, and put that back now that we know it was just the water. So I'm going to zip tie that back. I'm also going to add this onto here around the battery so we don't have to wa worry about water getting in there anymore, hopefully, and then uh, we'll be on our way. All right, so I'm gonna have to get a trash bag or something and uh, and use it. But for right now, I put this over the top, and uh, I can still reach in and turn the on/off button. But I'm gonna silicone the bottom when I get to the hotel, and uh, I got some sil tube of silicone, and we're gonna go from there. We're gonna go into uh, Hardy's right now. We're gonna have us some breakfast. I think I don't know if they have breakfast or not, but uh, we're gonna go to Hardy's. We're gonna eat our. Hopefully they got like, they got biscuits and everything else. They got, yeah, yeah, made from, just kidding, as I say that, look. Made from scratch biscuits. I'll pay attention at some point. All right, we're out of here. Hardee's for breakfast, pork chop. Oh, man, it was a good. Now we're gonna head out. Look at the bike, look at the bike. Look at bubble tea. snacks because I don't want what happened yesterday I got stuck in case we get to a spot where like yesterday we didn't have any place in between so we don't go through any national parks today get out of it <laughs> I didn't make it no I actually uh, so I bought it from a gentleman and I'm riding for kids with cancer across the country so I'm riding to California with it right now so I've been from Going to California yes ma'am I've these guys it's fun when you get bikers admiring a bike Now, this ain't no Harley, but it'll get you there. You know what I mean? It's got a little motor on it, but it ain't a Harley. <laughs> does, it does it charge? Yes, sir. Ride? Yes, sir. Not as you ride, but I charge it at night in the hotels right here, battery, and uh, it takes about eight hours when it's dead to charge it back up. So I plug it as soon as I get to the hotel, I charge it back up. And uh, yeah, charge back. It takes me that, if I'm on a flat, I can actually get with you know no elevation gain, I can get about 105 miles out of one charge. Yeah, so, and you have to pedal to use it, so it doesn't have a throttle or anything. It actually came at a thousand watts when we got it out of the box, but we had to, we had to tune it down to 450 because it, in some states, there's like, I think it was like 22 states, if it goes over 20 miles an hour, you gotta register it as a motorcycle, even pedaling. So today we are heading to Thomasville, Alabama. Okay, Forrest Gump, chill out. Anyway, we're heading to Thomasville, Alabama, and then tomorrow we're gonna be in Mississippi. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, -S -S -I -I. Mississippi. My dogs, that's right, Adam Sandler, call me up, hit me up, dude. What's up, bro? Anyway, we're heading there now, and uh, I got like 65 miles to go. We had to go to Walmart this morning, you saw that. Let's crush it, let's go. We got energy for days. Ah, people ask me, where do you get all your energy from? I'm like, I don't know. It just comes out of me. Anyway, riding for a cause today. The kids at Dartmouth Hitchcock. Make a donation. PositiveVibesTour.com. Love you guys. It makes it really hard to ride on the side of the road when they have these stupid little bumps all over. Excuse me. They're not bumps. Not bumps. They are bumps. They're made so that if you fall asleep at the wheel and you hit it, you wake up and they're supposed to be safety. But they're not good for bicycle tires. Here's why. Uh, yeah, that's why. Uh, 
I'd do a quick little stop at uh, Dollar General and uh, use the restroom real quick and some drink. Hi, how are you? All right. Do you have a restroom by chance? <laughs> what are you doing? Hi, hello, it's okay. Shh. Hi, it's all right. Oh, come here. Hi, how are you? Look at this guy. Ah, look at this guy. How are you? How are you? How are you? How you doing? Not bad. How are you, buddy? <laughs> Gotta pet him so he doesn't chase me down the road. <laughs> what are you doing? What is it? Ah, oh, scratches. <laughs> You guys will see how close they get to the oh, yeah. There's my bike. And there's a truck. These people move over. But most of the time they don't move over. And they just go right by the bike. But I can tell you this. If you are diligent and if you keep watching in your mirrors, you won't have to worry about getting hit. You're gonna get, I mean you might get hit maybe once in your lifetime right we hear about all the time because people don't want to see the good stuff about riding across the country for kids with cancer they want to show you people getting hit on tv and all that to make you scared and most of the from what i've seen from what i've seen most of the channels that do that and most of the uh you know the social medias are people who are again deep down are people who are actually against bikers in the first place so it's crazy don't i mean they just it's, it drives me nuts I've gone almost 1,500 miles without an incident. Had a little close call yesterday, but nothing crazy. But it's uh, it's on us, guys. To just make sure we cycle with caution. All right, so we're going to go to the camp house diner. I'm not going to be able to get through here, apparently. Next rooms, customers only. Who all? Look at this. All right, this is where we're getting food today. I'm excited. Cameras all over, right? <laughs> this is sweet. Yeah. All right, so all in all, that is place is awesome. It's so cool. So it's called the Camp House Diner, uh, and. It's, I just got a donation from a gentleman in there uh, comes down. It's like that family feel and friendly like it's just really it's kind of crazy when you go in like when you when you walk in because there's no windows when you go you go in there you come out and you're just like southern draw you just get it in you just it's cool yeah, they got always the best burger ever open and they're only open Friday Saturday 11 to 8 so kind of neat they have two days keep calm and carry a lot of you guys will like this um, so yeah. That's what we're doing now. We're just going to head back on the road, get about 30 miles to go. Just kidding, uh, 40 miles to go. <laughs> and we will be at our destination. Right, so we're, uh, we just ate at that spot. Super good. Uh, I didn't get to finish it all. My, I think my stomach is shrinking because <laughs> that was so good. And uh, it was a lot. And uh, great price. I mean, it was awesome. The whole thing was good. So thank you to you guys. Uh, we're now heading down a road that has just been redone. It was nice and smooth all oh, as I speak. Come on. Just kidding. Oh, oh man, that's so <laughs> just joking. I hope this is only a little chunk of it. Oh, please don't be the whole thing. Oh, just kidding. Oh, it gets smooth again. All right. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, it's been my favorite favorite kind of road so far. The unpaved kind. Get the feeling. Full body 
body massage from my my big toe up to my hair follicles. <laughs> it's so smooth now. We're in a small town called Thomaston. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little town here. Check it out. But I can sing. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat real quick. Okay, that's all we have for today. We are here at Hometown Inn. We made it 72, 73 miles, whatever you want to say. It was 70 miles, okay? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe. James Dobson Vlogs on YouTube and every other channel, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Also, make a donation, positivevibesworld.com. It goes to the kids with cancer at the Dartmouth-Hitchcock Hospital. Help us out. 100% of the proceeds go there. I'm just doing a ride because I want to draw some attention to it, and I think these kids deserve an opportunity. So, please. Please go there, join the group on Facebook. I love you guys. This vlog is over for today and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye!